With the recent health scare and temporary church closures, many church staff have an immediate need for enhancements for their church digital strategies. Hi, I'm Todd Turner, and as our churches are forced to move online, I'm sure many of you have hit your pain points. I didn't know our website wouldn't do that. Who controls our online donation page? What's the vendor's number? Who's in charge of our social media? What's the volunteer's phone number? Um, I need to get into Facebook. You know, the list goes on and on. As I watched this weekend and saw a wave of church videos posted online, I was seeing some real missed opportunities while pastors and church leaders scrambled to prepare for Sunday. So I put together seven practical steps for your church and digital team to use during this time. So number one, embed your announcements videos and your church service streaming on your own website. Don't send your viewers to YouTube or Vimeo. Let them explore a little. Even your most faithful congregants and members don't live on your website. There's so many things that your church and your website has to offer they may not be familiar with. Let them play around on the side a little bit. Let them give, sign up for things, submit prayer requests. Don't send them off to be distracted at another domain. Two, encourage family watch parties. Um, maybe you're in an area where you can't promote neighborhood watch parties just because of regulations. But, um, you know, we all know the church is not the building, right? It's the people. So engage with your people. Um, I saw a lot of really interesting, um, the way services were done this weekend. They, they were, I saw pastors sitting at desk. I saw worship teams. I saw no worship teams. I even saw an online um, communion, virtual communion. People had different styles, and that's okay. There is no rule. You don't just have to video the service. Matter of fact, I'd like to give a little suggestion. Some of you have your video cameras way back, and you normally see the back of people's heads, and now it's empty. Move the shot up. Get a little bit of tighter. Make it personal. Pray read scripture, teach, encourage, um, even have interaction. Ask your, um, ask your congregants to uh, submit prayer requests or comments or, you know, anything you can do to sort of engage online. It, you, there's the meet and greet's not there while we're all gone. So make people feel part of it. Not just like they're watching a TV program. Think outside of the box. Three, this week I want to encourage um, you to get your members to go to your website and look at your archive of video or audio sermons. A lot of people have missed things in the past. What a great time to remind them that they can go online and catch up of something that they missed or they haven't heard in years. It's a lot better than sitting on Netflix all day and just flipping around at stuff you've already seen. Point your flock to the resources already available. Four, this sounds so simple, step up your social media post. People need something positive in the world full of negativity and misinformation. God is good and he is in control. It's a great message. We've got it. Let's pour it out there. Even our strangers, the strangers can see it, even the people that are our members. Um, if you have raw videos you want to make of your staff or your pastors, your youth minister, they can put together quick watch parties during the week for some fun activities or Bible studies. Um, online is where the people are. Get there and interact. Five, make sure your website donation platform and your button is easy to find. Encourage people to use it. Um, make sure it's healthy and optimal. Does it work well on a mobile phone? Um, have you tested it in a while? Just um, don't just assume it works. Giving is going to go up. People are going to try to give online that normally, normally don't. Just make sure. Give it a little test spin. Um, it may need a lot of work, but just make sure it's uh, good enough, at least for temporary. Um Number six, put your go live streaming times on your homepage. A lot of people made Facebook videos and they put it out there, but not everybody sees your stuff or they weren't there, never showed up on their wall. If you go to the website, um, a lot of people didn't even say that they're going to stream. They didn't give very good directions whether church was closed or not. You can't assume everybody sees everything on Facebook. Second of all, you don't have to stream at the same time you have service normally. Um, it's okay to mix it up a little bit. I'm very curious if anybody tried Sunday night because Sunday night is a high time for videos online. I just wonder if you put your, your live stream during that time would it get more views and it wouldn't have to compete with so many other churches. There's a lot of people out there looking for churches to uh, stream because their church just isn't able to do it just yet. 
even though this crisis is probably going to make people um, step up their game when it comes to uh, streaming for uh, attendees and members who just can't get there even in the future. Lastly, this is huge. You can't fix your digital problems in one day or even a week. Digital strategies are so much more complex. Don't shoot your staff and your volunteers when you discover there's holes in your systems or processes. Yeah, there are. I do this for a living. I see it in all size churches. There's problems. You can address your email, website, donation platforms, um, apps, social media later. There's a lot to address and a lot to mature. We're having trouble transitioning to online this week, um, but that's okay. There's time to mature it even for the next Sunday and the next, and then of course over time. Um, it's really an exciting time. Our, our members live online the other six days of the week, and why would us as churches not really step up our digital game? That's where the people are, right? So I'm Todd Turner. I'm the Director of Digital Strategies for Churches and Nonprofits here at Generis. I hope you enjoyed this video. Keep serving your flock on and offline during the season. Blessings, and I pray for your protection and your strength, and I pray that your churches become lighthouses for those looking for rest during this turbulent time. God bless.